college, too, you know, you, they were training a little bit less than on the elite level. She was training once a day, and that's typically what she does when she's back home in Arizona. But, of course, here at the National Championships and the Olympic Games or any kind of training camp, it's two-a-day training. Yes. Pretty much seven hours a day, so it's, it's a lot. It's crazy. And you know what it comes down to? The NCAA, they have different rules. It's out of a 10. Pretty good score there. But they do about one-third the amount of gymnastics that they do in elite gymnastics, literally. Going to do the same vault that we saw Simone do on her first one. This is what's called a chen. Not bad, but that one actually was a little closer to how she did it in 2016 and a lot of people were uber crit critical of it saying that she doesn't get support on both hands well she's been doing it a little bit better than that here struggled with this goes past the handstand just like that should show a little bit more control but this is off the charts difficult right here a back handspring right into a back with a fall makes it so much more difficult when you tumble into this awesome was to make the national team here. It wow. was a really, really great day of competition for Michaela Skinner. I'll tell you what, there were a lot of doubters for Michaela Skinner. Biggest problem is choosing a team. Yeah, I don't, don't really want to be on that <laughs> selection committee right now. On floor, the 22-year-old from Arizona, Michaela Skinner.
there you go, Michaela.